hello guys welcome to my channel once again and today in this video session we will discuss about the SCCM architecture that is about primary server secondary server and the central administration site so let us begin in this diagram we can see the site servers in a hierarchy the top level site is the CAS central administration site then comes the primary sites that is PS1 and PS2 and then comes the secondary site that is SSX so let us discuss one by one the site servers the first one is the central administration site that is the top level site in the hierarchy and is used to centrally manage the configuration manager implementation the clients are not directly assigned to the central administration site and this is used basically for the reporting purpose in SCCM. CAS should be the first site installed in the hierarchy depending upon the requirements and the number of clients in your organization. However, you can also work with standalone primary sites. So let us discuss now about the primary sites. A primary site has its own database hosted on the SQL server to maintain configuration. This is the site where clients can be directly assigned to it. A primary site has the ability to host the child sites that is secondary site. As in the diagram we can see the top level is the CAS server then the primary site has got assigned to it and further the secondary sites are reporting to the primary site now comes the secondary site there is no way to directly administer the secondary site it all comes from the administration console connected to a primary site secondary sites are basically used as the distribution point for the content distribution to the clients and for controlling the bandwidth in the SSCM network now in this diagram we can see a standalone site then a primary site with secondary sites and the CAS site with the primary sites and secondary sites so depending upon the requirement of the organization we can create any kind of architecture now comes the concept of site system if we install any of these roles given in the diagram on a site server then that site server becomes a site system suppose if we install a distribution point on a secondary site then that server becomes a site system thank you for watching this video and i do hope you must have learned about the basic concept of sscm site servers and site system so please do post your queries in the comments and i will respond to those Meet you in the next video with the new topic. Till then, goodbye. Take care.